So my research is uh, focused in understanding um, natural mechanisms of control of infection, studying uh, in vivo models of control, like uh, natural HIV controllers, monkeys controlling infection, and also uh, post-treatment controllers from the Visconti study. All right. Well, you've just mentioned Visconti. Can you tell mm -hmm. us a little bit about what that is? So the Visconti study is uh, understanding is studying uh, some people that are in remission of HIV infection who were treated for uh, many years since the uh, very early stage of the of the infection and who have been able to control infection after interruption in treatment for many years. Do you work directly with the patients or do you work with samples of blood, for example? Yeah, we, um, because of uh, ethical reasons, we don't have the the, um, the right to uh, meet the patients when we, whom we are conducting the research. So we work with uh, clinical partners that uh, refer us the, the the patients and the, the, the samples from the patients. Okay. Um, so what are the um, greatest difficulties for you when you're doing your research? What are the what are the big challenges you have to work with about? In terms of uh, scientific challenges? Yeah, or technical scientific challenges. challenges. Okay. So um, the scientific challenges are to uh, understand mechanisms of, of control in, in populations so that uh, even if they have a very clear phenotype, the mechanisms are probably heterogeneous. So uh, trying to, uh, to pick one mechanism that explains the whole control of infection or the whole uh, phenomenon of uh, remission is tricky. So we need to, to have a larger group of patients uh, to, uh, to be able to, uh, to identify um, the mechanisms that are probably the most uh, relevant one. So if you found the mechanisms that would explain you know, how the Visconti patients, for example, can control their infection even though they're not taking antiretroviral therapy, mm -hmm. What would you do with that information? So the idea is to pick that information to be able to uh, create new therapies uh, to, to apply to, to, other, to other patients. For instance, we know right now that the Visconti patients were treated, all of them, uh, from uh, primary infection, and that that has a huge impact in the level of the reservoir. We know that this is not sufficient, but it's a starting point. All the Visconti patients have low reservoirs, and this is the point that we want to, to start with in, in all the patients. And now. We need to identify other mechanisms and other markers that will allow us to um, to further um, uh, proceed for uh, treatment interruption trials with more uh, chances of uh, succeed, succeed the, the, this remission. Right. So has um, AMFAR played any role in your research? So AMFAR um, uh, has contributed to allow us to implement new technologies in the laboratory, uh, actually also help us to recruit a new postdoc in the in the laboratory to, to, to develop this whole new area of research in, in my team and also is helping us to uh, better understand how the reservoir is sit in the, in the primary CD40 cells for instance uh, also taking into account the conditions of uh, primary infection when compared to the chronic phase of infection and you are you working with other people who are funded by AMFAR um, working collaboration in an archive collaboration with uh, Nicolas Somon with uh, Steve Dix with uh, many other researchers from this consortium. Mm -hmm. And what, what is that whole project? What is that about, that project? So the, 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 the whole project is uh, meant to better understand how the reservoir is distributed in the different C40 cell subsets, which, uh, which are the subsets that are the most uh, important one to target with uh, therapy, for instance, and the ones that are the most relevant in the persistence of the, of the reservoir. I have just one more question for you. So how optimistic do you feel that we'll have a cure for HIV in the next say five or ten years? I'm optimistic that we will have a cure for HIV, but I, I'm, I, I don't feel ready to say how long that uh, will, will take us. I think that we are making uh, significant, significant steps forward, uh, an HIV cure, toward this HIV cure, but um, and that these steps are coming uh, closer and closer uh, every year, but uh, I think that we are still a little bit far from, from an escalable cure uh, to, uh, for, for HIV.